Hello everyone. Starting a new series of custom ROM topics. So first of all, today we are going to talk about Android device tree. So let's get started. Device tree. All you need to know about device tree is in this statement. So let's see what it says. It says it is device specific and contains definition for your device and configuration, which also includes features, hardware, and architecture. So let's break down this statement and let's try to reason with it. So why it is device specific and how it is device specific? First of all, each device is different. Each device has its different hardware and each device has its different chipsets. That's how it is device specific and it, it is different for each device. It contains definition. Well, because when you are compiling your custom room, how the compiler will know for which device the room is going to be. So, so that's why it contains definition for your device. Which includes what types of features your device provides, what hardware your device has, what architecture, what CPU architecture your device uses, and what type of configuration your device has. So the configuration files for NFC, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and other types of features, it needs to be defined somewhere. So, so this is the place where you define everything for your device, and it will have all the information about your device. So this is the basic work of a device tree and the changes in device tree is based upon which Android version you are targeting for your device. So I hope you got a clear idea of this concept and uh, I think I made it very much clear. So if you, if you still have any doubts, you can contact me in the, in the comment section and also you can join my telegram group. So I'll see you guys in the next video.